Tonight you're going to hear a tale of two cities and about a girl who was transplanted from one to the other. Washington, D.C. and Little Washington. It is the year 1878. Rutherford B. Hayes is president of the United States and whirling through her first social season is Dodie Trumbull, the most popular, most publicized debutante in the nation's capital. Small wonder that her beautiful young head is slightly turned. She danced very well for a man from Nevada. By the way, that's pronounced Nevada. I notice you give it the broad ah. I prefer it to a dreadful flat ah. Eh. Only the dreadful flat air eh, is correct. Among the natives, perhaps. I just thought you might like to know, in case you'd go to Nevada. I never expect to. You might marry a man from Nevada. <laughs> when I can choose any other place in the world. <laughs> What made you do that? Because you irritate me, and because you're so beautiful. You could be such such a person if you ever got out. I am out. I mean, away from here. You don't know anything but Washington. You think it's the beginning and the end of everything. Your attitude is absolutely provincial. Well, you're a fine one to say that. Congressman from the, the, the sagebrush state. I believe this is my dance. May I? I'm delighted to be rescued. Monsieur? for that afternoon. But of course, we can at least leave our cards at each of them. More flowers for Miss Doty. Oh. From Nigel Jarman. Oh, yes, that nice attaché of the British Embassy. I thought it might be an apology from... Put them in water, will you, Martha? If you can find any more vases. Here's Miss Dirty. The New Year's Day reception at the White House. Oh! The President and Mrs. Rutherford B. Hayes request the honor of your presence... In Carson City, Nevada. Hey, Father. Yeah? Look at all the invitations that have come today. Oh, the next few weeks will be a veritable world. Yes, they will indeed, because we're moving. Moving? To that house I love so much on DuPont Circle? Oh, Ray. Oh, Father, how wonderful. There's twice the room for entertainment. And it's a far more fashionable address. Let's see, what is that number, dear? Oh, is it... No, no number... wait a minute. Oh, but not until after the holidays, dear. I simply couldn't face a move with... Chris... Please. May I get a word in edgewise? We're not moving to DuPont Circle. Then where? I have just been appointed director of the Mint. The Mint? Father. In Carson City, Nevada. Carson City? Nevada? I take up my official duties there on January 2nd, which means that we'll be leaving here shortly. No, probably over the middle of December. Sagebrush State. Oh, no, my dear. The Silver State. It's a great honor that the administration has seen fit to confer upon me. An honor? It seems more to me as if you are being shelved. How did they happen to select you, Father? Oh, I really couldn't say. A uh, case of being recommended. Some political wire pulling, perhaps? All I know is that I'm extremely happy and gratified. Well, I don't even know where Carson City is. My dear, it's the capital of the state. The capital? Oh, well, then. Smallest capital in the United States. Oh, dear, no. I learned that from their congressman. Oh, well, you've met young Tabor. 
I will let him. Well, now that's splendid because I've invited him here tomorrow night for dinner to tell us all about our new home. One of the things that worries me is the servant problem. Martha absolutely refuses to go with us. Is there an employment agency in Carson City? Oh, I'm afraid not, Mrs. Trumbull, but I think I have just a person for you. She used to work for my mother. As cook? And general factotum. Well trained, is she? I mean, she knows what's what. Oh, yes, Minnie knows what's what. I'll write her if you like. Oh, well, I'd have to interview her, of course, before we could make any definite arrangements. Minnie isn't the kind you interview, you just hire. But I'd want to know what she can do. She can do anything and everything. Well, sounds like a paragon to me. Go ahead, Mark, sign her up. Well, it would simplify matters to have someone there to help us settle. Then if I found out she didn't work out, I, I could let her go. You'll keep her. Minnie's the best house servant in Nevada. Nevada. Miss Doty. Good evening. How beautiful you look. Won't you sit down? Doty's attending the cotillion this evening. Oh? Then you won't be here? I'm making the most of what little time I have left in Washington. Before we go into the wilderness. Why, ma'am, the holidays in Carson City mighty jolly, too. All kinds of goings on. Such as straw rides, I suppose. You like straw rides? I detest them. Now, Doty, when did you ever go on a straw ride? Never. And I never intend to. Why, ma'am, they're really lots of fun, bouncing in the straw, singing, holding hands. Uh, uh, what do you think, Doty? Mr. Taylor thinks he can supply us with a maid. It's all settled. If you're friends of mine, she'll be glad to work for you. Oh, won't it be wonderful to step off the train in Carson City and have... Excuse me, Mrs. Trumbull. Did you say train? Carson City isn't on the railroad. The capital of the state? It, it... It's a very small capital. Up until a few years ago, it was only a trading post. How big? Dear me, I had no idea. The whole of Nevada has a population of only half a person per square mile. Half a person? Mother, this is impossible. We can't go off and bury ourselves in a place like that. Father, can't you refuse the appointment? My dear child, it's a political plum. It's the end of everything, as far as I'm concerned. I know who's responsible. You flatter me, ma'am, a mere congressman. Can't you and I stay here anyway, Mother? Buy places with your father, dear. At least till the end of the season. Well, by that time, I'll... You will have found yourself a husband. A foreign title, perhaps. She could, you know. Your daughter could have her choice of anybody in the world. I've been told so on the best of authority. Dinner is served. I'll wait in here till Colonel Brothers calls for me. Half a man to every square mile. You're not even half a man. I... Excuse me. I hope you have a very pleasant evening. of the social season that December of 1878, the Trumbull said goodbye to Washington and started on the long journey west to Nevada. It was the week after Christmas when they arrived in Carson City and were deposited in front of the furnished house that had been rented for them. Well, not bad. At least it's not an Indian teepee. <laughs> well, the door's open. Good. Then the house has been opened and aired. It's only a rug. Oh, but it's still a bear. Mm, not bad. 
that at all. It'll be like living in a zoo. Young Tabor has done very well for us. Please don't mention that man's name to me. <coughs> An Indian in there. I'll take care of it, dear. Oh, be careful. Me, Minnie. Tabor's idea of a joke. I've never been so frightened in all of my life. Of all the despicable. I wonder if she wears a feathered headdress to serve dinner. Father, how can you laugh? Well, she's serving no dinners in this house. That's certain. You're not going to keep her? Well, hardly. Ray, I wouldn't have a quiet moment with that, that red-skinned savage under the same roof. If she worked for Mark's family. Well, that doesn't prove anything. He's a barbarian himself. Well, I shall get rid of her immediately, even if it means I have to do my own work or... Me fix dinner. Mother, why didn't you tell her? Afraid she had a tomahawk? Oh, Father, you're as bad as Mark. It's never proper to serve notice on a servant in the presence of others. I shall speak to her in the kitchen. I'm very sorry, Minnie, but we'll not be needing your services. If you tell me how much we owe you, I'll see that you're paid and then you may... You may... Is that a pie in there? Mm. We'll leave it. I'll take it out later, after you're gone. We'll eat it tomorrow, perhaps. We're going to the hotel tonight for dinner. You eat dinner here? No. You tired? Well, yes, a little. Perhaps, but... You go to hotel, must dress, meet stranger, talk. Better you eat home. You don't seem to understand, Minnie. I... Well, since you've already made preparations, you may serve dinner at seven. You eat six o'clock. We're in the habit of dining at seven. Maybe so big, Washington. This little Washington. Little Washington? You'll be ready, six o'clock. Oh, yes, yes, Minnie. As maybe you've already guessed, Minnie didn't leave that evening. After the meal she'd served them, the Trumbulls decided... Ah, I've never tasted such a pie. If I had my way, I'd never let Minnie go. Well, it might be wise to keep her, dear, at least until after we're settled. As long as no one sees her, would she be in the kitchen, dear? Suppose someone should drop in. Who would? After all, we know no one in Carson yet. But the next afternoon of that very mild winter, Dodie discovered somebody she did know in Carson. Wonderful country, isn't it, Nevada? What are you doing here? Home for the holidays. There's no place like Carson City at Christmas time. That's a matter of opinion. I was just coming to pay my respects and ask what size glove you wear. Glove? So I can buy you a pair for New Year's Eve ball. Well, really? You will do me the honor of going with me, I hope. Not if you were the last man on earth. And as for my gloves, my father buys me all I need. 
You don't understand. Out here, when a man asks a woman to a dance... I am not attending the dance. It's really a very nice affair. I'm not interested. Everybody who is anything will be there. <laughs> I can just imagine. Women with babies, Indians. And speaking of Indians... Are you making out with many? You should be ashamed of yourself, foisting off a creature like that on my mother. Foisting? Suppose someone should come to the house and see her. What kind of impression would they get of us? <gasps> there goes someone now. Uh oh the governor's wife. The governor's? Oh, Mark, stop her. Uh, to tell her we haven't arrived yet. Uh, we're all out. We're sick. We're, we're, we're dead. And if she should ring the doorbell and Minnie answers, well, we're socially ruined. Then you better hurry up and get there first. <sighs> you unspeakable desert rat. How do you do? Oh, how do you do? I'm Mrs. Kincaid, the governor's wife. Oh, well, won't you come in? Thank you. I hope you'll forgive me for calling on you in this informal fashion, Mrs. Trumbull, instead of waiting for your day at home. Oh, I have no day at home, Mrs. Kincaid. Oh, but you will have, of course, like all the other ladies of the diplomatic circle. They do? Uh, oh. I had oh. no idea you had a diplomatic circle here. What are you doing? Me serve tea. Oh, no, you don't. Nobody ordered tea. Nobody wants tea. If you dare bring that into the parlor, I'll... My daughter is one of this season's buds, too. Really? Where was she presented? Right here in Carson. You mean the girls have a formal debut here in Carson? Why, certainly. Catherine was presented at the uh, Thanksgiving assembly. Oh, did you hear that, Dodie? I heard. I had no idea that in a remote outpost like this you have... Minnie. Oh. If you don't mind, Maya. Oh, yes. I really must apologize. Well, how did you... Oh, oh she's happened. only here temporarily. It, it was Mark Tabor's doings. Mark Tabor? Why, that young scamp. Wait till I tell him what I think of him. I already have. But to steal Minnie right out of my household. What? Your household? I've been absolutely lost since she quit. Why, Minnie knows the social ropes like nobody else in the capital. Well, she was invaluable in the governor's mansion. An authority on protocol. But if Mark Tabor told her to work for you, that's all there was to it. She adores him. And so do we all. He's one of Nevada's most brilliant young men. But I'm sure you've already discovered that. There were other callers at the Trumbull House the next two days. Every one of them leaving the proper number of calling cards in the card tray which Minnie placed beside the door. But Mark Tabor's wasn't among them. And on New Year's Eve, Dodie lay in bed and listened to the carriages rolling by, taking folks to the ball she had spurned, and the faint strains of a dance orchestra. clear and warm, and around the middle of the morning, having retired early the night before, the Trumbulls started for a walk. Go back. Oh, we're just taking a little walk, Minnie. A constitutional. Ladies not walk on New Year's Day. Gentlemen walk. Only with high silk hat on head. I'm sorry, Minnie. I didn't bring my silk hat to Carson City. Well, it never occurred to him that he'd need it. Stay in house, then. Well, you're, you're not serious. Come along, dear, if Minnie says so. Oh, but surely... Minnie is an authority on protocol. Oh? Hmm. You too. I feel like taking a walk. Nobody's going to stop me. Please, let me by. 
I'm not going back into the house. I want some fresh air. Oh, you have no right to... You spoiled brat. You want me to spank? Don't you dare. Then march in house. Get dressed. Best clothes. Well, I must say that I feel something of a fool. All dressed up and no place to go. Minnie knows best, dear. Do you realize where we'd be going if we were back in Washington? To the President's reception at the White House. Me get. The Attorney General and the Secretary of State for Nevada. Hello, Ray. Good to see you again. Yes, it's the regular New Year's custom in Carson City. Before the day is over, you'll receive several hundred gentlemen callers. Several hundred? Oh, yes. Oh, how perfectly delightful. Uh, will you excuse me a moment? This is my first trip out west, and I think I'm going to like it <laughs> very much. Oh, excuse me, I want to speak to my daughter. Yes, sir. There are hundreds on the way. Isn't it thrilling? Washington was nothing like this. But what am I going to feed them? I don't know. Oh, dear. Ray, I was just going to ask Minnie to make some coffee. I had no idea there'd be so many this afternoon. Oh, I just don't know what we're going to... Make way. Clear track. Oh, Minnie, what have you there? Heap eggnog. And is it heap good? Mm. The White House never served anything to touch it. Give me some. I need it. <laughs> Mr. Mark Tabor. Mark. Happy New Year. For me? Mm -hmm. Just one of our funny customs. Instead of flowers, we give gloves. Since fresh flowers aren't obtainable out here in the wilderness. You're laughing at me, but I deserve it. No, laughing with you. Why didn't you tell me, Mark? Carson City is the most formal place in the whole United States, outside of Washington, D.C., where ladies have at homes and girls make debuts, and where nobody calls without leaving cars, and where the... And where there are no straw rides? <laughs> <laughs> what a fool you must have thought me. Darling, no, just... Just provincial. That was inexcusable of me. It's so true. I did think that Washington was the beginning and end of everything. And that men with titles were... Eggnog. I might have a title myself someday. Governor of the Sagebrush State. We teach her. She make good first lady. To us and to little Washington. Nevada. Dodie. Carson City is still the smallest capital in the United States, and one of the best. But if you go there today, don't worry about calling cards and a high hat. 